Okay, this is a niche product that I think a lot of us that are watching these type of videos probably need, uh, but this is a Alcantara specific cleaner. Also works on fabric. Uh, I use it on the fabric seats of the M3, uh, but uh, this really, I think it really shines as, a, as an Alcantara, either you know, suede, Alcantara, whatever you wanna call it, synthetic leather uh, cleaner. Uh, this is from Sonex. It's a foaming, soapy type solution. Uh, I've been using this, I don't know, for a decade or so, so I know it works well. I'm gonna show you how I use it, uh, and it's really pretty simple. This video is gonna be really short because it's a really easy thing to use. Uh, I actually have a brand new Alcantara steering wheel that probably sat on a shelf for a while. It looks a little dusty. Uh, now it is new. Uh, I wish I had something beat up and old that I could show you how this does, um, but it's a really, again, really simple thing, really simple process. So. When I, when I, let's say I was cleaning my seats uh, and I'll put some, uh, some uh, cards up in the upper right. Uh, is it upper right or upper left? I think it's upper left. Yeah, right. we're on a video. You're right, my left. Anyway, look at the eye in the upper corner of the, of the video. Uh, we'll put a couple of links to some of my Alcantara cleaning videos of GT350, my GT3, uh, where I go through extensively how I do this and it's, really as simple as the rest of the interior stuff, so I wouldn't get too bent out of shape. I'm, I'm in love with Alcantara. I have Alcantara in every, in every single car, except for the M5 behind us, which the steering wheel is going in, so we will have a little bit of Alcantara in it finally. So what we do, shake up the product, and uh, you could use a sponge. Uh, actually, what I like to use, let me see if I got one here. So here's how I, so here's how I do this. Take the product and I use, uh, this is an Adams, not really Adams, they just happen to cut the foam and this is where I get it from. But we take the product, notice it foams up, take it, you can use gloves if you want, you probably should. I'm gonna work the product into the sponge. Now, if you're doing seats or headliners, I always vacuum first, so you wanna vacuum. Uh, but then what I do is I take the product. Again, I don't want to soak down Alcantara. I just want to get the product in there. And what I'll do a lot of times is kind of spritz a little bit on there. Kind of work my way around. Stuff smells awesome. I find that it doesn't, like the, the stitching on here, it won't do any kind of bleeding or dyeing or anything like that. So you're usually safe there. A little bit more. Again, you don't want to soak the surface down. Alcantara doesn't like to be really, really wet. Just want to agitate it a little bit, get it clean. Now, if you're eating cheeseburgers, I don't know how well this does. But if you're like me, you go to the gym, your hands are occasionally greasy and dirty, I'm telling you, this stuff is like magic. It keeps it feeling nice and soft, clean. Obviously, you normally wouldn't be cleaning it like I'm doing it, where it's off the car, but I figure I need to make a video. I've got it here, it needs to be cleaned, so why not? Okay, so now it's damp. And so what I'll do is I'll take my towel and I'll just gently, kind of like if you were removing like Carpro Pearl off your towel or off your tires. I don't want to like beat it all off of the surface, but I just kind of want to fluff it up and this will pick up any, any little bit of dirt that's left over. And you could do this two or three times if it's really dirty and just use the product gently wipe it. What you don't want to do is start buffing the heck out of it. That's when you'll ruin it. I found that this is kind of really hard to mess up unless you're an idiot. So that's the process. You can do the same process with fabric. Fabric you can agitate a little bit more. You want to be a little bit more careful with Alcantara. But you don't, again, I think keys, key takeaways is you don't want to soak it down. There's no reason to. And I'm telling you, if you can get your hands on this and feel this, especially a day later. The other thing that I tend to do on seats is after I've done this process and I wipe the excess down, I'll take my vacuum cleaner and just suck it, 
suck any leftover residue of the water and, uh, and dampness. Uh, and then that really fluffs it up and just makes it feel clean, nice, and makes it feel brand new. So my brand new steering wheel feels and looks even more brand new after doing the Sonex treatment. So relatively inexpensive product. You don't need five bottles of it. I'd have one. Uh, you'll probably need one if you have, you know, I have multiple cars. I think I've finished maybe two or three bottles of this in however many, 10 years, eight, nine, 10 years I've been using it. However long I've had Alcantara. I guess I haven't had Alcantara. I don't know if it's the first car that I had Alcantara. I'm not really sure. So anyway, great product in the store available. Uh, my one ask to you, which I do with most of my products is, you know, I don't sell these at discounts. Um, I'm hoping that you'll honor the source if I taught you about this, um, or you just want to continue to see this, this, this destination that I'm building here in Obsessed Garage, uh, you know, place to where I'm curating stuff from all over the world. Notice I don't sell every Sonex product. I only sell two of them, this and the, uh, and the Sonex uh, Perfect Finish. Uh, so I want to be able to continue to do that, not just sell products to retail them, uh, but to sell the product that I use in my process that hopefully I can impart on you. So anyway, thanks for watching this one. Uh, as always, uh, stay tuned for more crazy. I'll have more uh, interior stuff as I, um, as I roll it out. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.